you know, is touching something or his fingers in something, you know. And I mean, it sucks, but I mean, all of us, you know, are definitely learning something. So, um, and then another thing you can figure out is a, uh, is a touching threshold. We'll put that at 10. Touching threshold or a distance threshold, you know, and, uh, I see touching is probably, you know, that's when hearing, taste, smell, touching, feeling, all comes together. And, uh, you know, everything can be done from the music window, you know, when it is heard and not heard. Because there's going to be a time when the music's not heard and there's no music. And then when the music's playing, this is going to light up, you know. It's going to puncture that, you know. If, I mean, I know for a fact that I've had lots of sex with many women just because I was in a song. And I'm sorry to say it, you know. I I really didn't regret it because it was really sexy, you know, if, if it was. But I don't think it, I could have done any... I mean, I tried to anyway. I mean, I, I tried to, kind of like, you know, pin puncture or kind of like... Uh, you know, I, I just felt like, you know, if you could, you know, not do it, you know, then it would have been respectful. But if it was asked for, you know, then it would have been given, you know. And that's what I kind of aimed to, I mean, I, I was trying to figure it out. You know, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's like firing a projectile. I mean, it's, it's only going to... You know, like when they have those songs about gunfire and shooting people. It's only going to shoot certain people. And, you know, to me, it's supposed to be the dead tree branches, you know, in, in the woods. And there's not many people who are going to really identify with the worldly view of, um, you know, you know, if it was stealing, it would be, you know, like taking dead tree branches from a tree, you know. And if it was killing, then it would have to be the dead tree branches from the tree. And if it wasn't, then it couldn't happen. And, you know, you can't be that. And there has to be less of them somehow, you know. But, you know, there's always leftover shit, and it could always be that. So uh, one of my biggest problems I've had is I've, um, somehow I subconsciously already orgasm when I listen to my song. It's like it's already fucking me from every angle while I listen to it or even think about it. And, you know... It might have been someone else's song, you know, that was actually coming through me because I usually rap around, you know, kind of like there's one musician here. Let's say this is Ozzy Osbourne right here. Here's me right here, <laughs> you know, and here's another one here, probably Gwen Stefani, you know. And I mean, we're all kind of going in different directions, you know. Let's just say that I'm going this way, that one's going that way, that one's going this way. Wait, that way, that way, this one's going this way, wait, yeah, like counterclockwise and clockwise, like, you know, like, like this, trading paint, you know, and um, I think that a lot of the musical stuff that happens is, you know, you, you, you listen to as many as you can to get in the center here, and around this is probably another wide one that's circling around me, you know, when I'm being seen and there's a small amount that hasn't been seen. Because we're individuals, we can't see everything at once. You know, but someone has seen it. And even though we can see it, technically, we'd have to leave kind of room for that to be done. You know, for that to be processed. But that is being followed. You know, so I mean, if I'm wrapping around every single one I've heard. You know, I'm trying to get the widest radius in. So I'm trying to go with the widest and furthest and heaviest. You know, I'm trying to make it pull as much as it can. And I hope that everyone does that. Because if you just barely do it, I mean, you're just going to be able to, you just be able to instantly do it. And I, I feel sorry for those people that just instantly can. But um, we have to include you anyway because we got to be fair. I suppose. But I'm sure there's benefits and no benefits. You know, if you don't pay attention to shit like this, then it will not be there for you. You won't be able to register it. But I'm sure that your unconscious body would. You know, and I listen to many songs. I understand them. You know, and I, I, I could write 
I mean, this is only two pages, but I could do a million pages, you know, if I was being generous. You know, I mean, if I was really being me, I'd probably do a billion, you know, if I could, about this. But anyway, so when those are wrapped around, you know, that person is kind of limited to what they have. You know, also, you should look at it kind of like, you know, when you're playing Call of Duty, you know, or Medal of Honor. And, you know, you got your pistol, right? And it's like, when I'm going into that next room, you know, I'm going to shoot at myself, you know, when I'm leaving this one, you know. So, you know, the only way you can really follow a gangster or somebody who is like moving and on their, on their tail, you know, is, you know, the only way you can really defend yourself, you know, in music is you got to kind of shoot back at yourself, you know, and then you got to survive, you know. <laughs> And that's the only way that you would know that you were there, you know, or basically you dodge yourself from that if that was you running, you know, from the future, whatever. But it's kind of like that, you know, and, you know, I, you know, when I played Medal of Honor, you know, I'm always, you know, I'm going this way and then I know I came from right there. So I'm going to aim at where I was at, you know, and shoot, you know, a couple times, you know, because I'm checking to see who was behind me when I'm going in my course, you know. So, you know, that's something you can practice is kind of look at it like that with the music. And then when you play it forwards and backwards, you know, kind of see how you're like talking to yourself and talking to someone else and see how others kind of relate to that. And how, you know, you could also be blazing guns forwards, pow, pow, pow. And then you turn around. I mean, there's so many things that you could do, but it all has to do with time sequencing. I mean, four seconds is enough. For you to say, you know, and I made it through the, you know, I, I mean, thing, or moving, you know, I mean, I could say, you know, you know, the small, little microscopic things being said. And, um, let's see, what other kind of listening do we have? Um, probably say another one that is important is, uh, the repetition Basically, it reminds me of Subway, really. You know, how it has like an arrow right here. You know, but there's like a Subway line, you know. And that's what I kind of meant with the Y. You know, is there's always, there's Subway or there's that. You know, like subway -er, you know. Like how the word Subway, to me, when I pronounce it, says subway -er, With an R on the end. And it has an arrow pointing down. That is something that I got from a song that made me register that subconsciously. And, of course, I responded to it. But also, um, you know, the little sediments afterwards, after sediment. You know, how does it kind of resonate? Does it change words for you? You know, I mean, it, it's supposed to make them easier, usually. But it can also make them more difficult, so you have something to make easier. Or just to have a hard time, you know, which you know, I'm not a big fan of, but it's pretty popular. But I'd say that it's uh, probably not my cup of shit. Um, but anyway, that's 11 would be the... Uh, I guess uh, fears, you know, is another one. Fears, fears that pop up. I'm going to say sediment here, sediment, fears, is 12. Sediment. You know, and there's always things you can say, because, I mean, you know, there's pinky promise, there's cross your fingers. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's peace, there's looking, you know, there's pointing the gun, there's uh, stop, you know. You know, there's, I mean, there's a lot of it, too. You know, cigarette. There's a lot of different signs, you know, for that. You know, together, you know, parallel, side by side, simultaneous, taller or shorter. There's so much that has to do with two fingers. Skyscrapers, height, you know. And if I talk about a finger, is, you know, this finger, this one, and this one shorter? Yes. So that means that this building is the highest. This one's shorter than that one, right? And here's all the other ones. So this would be on top, you know, 
or you know you could say you know oh man and another one that is really really fucking crazy fun is um like flip sides you know like i just did like you know i started talking about middle finger all of a sudden it looks like i'm flicking you off and then like when you're in an argument you know there'll be a point you know to where you know i'll be like point you know and i'll be like just like that with my finger and i'll be like now it means fuck you or now it means this you know and all of a sudden you know you're transitioned and it's like you're in six flags and you're in one of those movies with the 3D glasses and it's got those little air push it's pushing up against your ankle, you know, and it's going and there's like a fucking spaceship going you know, coming up to see you and shit. That's another time where you could be taken by it, you know, and you can listen for that. And you can be like, damn, you know, I didn't notice this and it would be something that, you know, you might notice and it can be globally noticed or only certain people can notice it. Most of the music that I make, I make for, um, you know, usually for someone to listen to when they're going down the road looking out a window. Because that's what I listened to when I was a kid. And I wanted more people to listen to more music, have their headphones on, and kind of listen to it to themselves. And be able to stare for long moments of time. And meditate for long moments of time. You know, and be able to be, like, really smart and really genius and clear-headed and come up with my ideas kind of make my world a better reality, you know, and I mean, if enough people heard it, certain ones, you know, would have certain effects, and all you have to do is look at yourself, man, or woman, as a processor, you know, and you say, this is what I have over here, over here, you know, and this is my processor, this music going into your ear is a funnel, and this is going to be the product spilling out over here. Product. Spills out product. And right here is the plate. And, you know, this is going to go into your ear. You know what I'm saying? You know, and your ear hole is going to absorb this. And there is a drum. <laughs> by my ear and it is a drum you know and it does get hit on you know you know with just small little you know drummer is in there you know what i'm saying and it does have something hitting it you know because it does make noise you know but it's just an eardrum so anyway you know once you realize this you also realize that listening to music has the exact same thing and it's just as powerful. So you must agree with each other because you are a listener. And it can't go in one ear and out the other if there is nothing going in here. Unless your brain is made of wax. So let's just go ahead and say that this is an ear right here. And this is input. And this is input because it's got to come.